shall be covered. No. Another monkey. Two years in a row. Nice flying punk cake. Dude, I was going for that actually. Glad to see I made the mark. Can't pay for a sub. Hey, dude, you're helping just by being here. All right. You helped? Oh yeah, um, I did help spread the disease. Oh, right, matter of fact, I need to get my YouTube video uploaded on it. I'll do that while I'm streaming right now. Uh, Chad, I, I slept till like one today. And then I, I jumped, I've been very unproductive today. I was very productive. Um, Wait, did I already do this one? Okay. It does. Not uploaded yet. I haven't uploaded it yet. Uh, my my editor has made it. Let's get the let's get it uploaded though. I've been working on my, my, my titles. I've noticed that I think if I do something like, all right, I, I was thinking death rattle rogue, man of cheating, making everyone angry. I think when I, when I, when I say <laughs> things are making people angry, uh, it gets a better response. I've noticed thoughts. We'll play egg priest later. Uh, they choose, oh, I actually have such a good response to this.
I mean, it's all relative, dude. 1.3k is, uh, you're higher than a lot of people. We did a fast video. Yeah. Wait, what? Ah, I can't beat this shit. Son of a gun, shit, I'm dead. Yeah, 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 whatever. This is a tough matchup, I think. It's like they don't even need their face. Like, in theory, we should be good against Demon Hunter, but. 30 Guard Spooky. Yeah, uh, this is a new list I saw. They had a good win rate. It's trending. <coughs> Best daggers right now. Yeah, this this list looks like two days old though, so he goes all of us, yeah. Dude, it's weird. Everybody thinks the like the list is perfect except for the eggs. I swear the eggs are good enough. Like there are other cards I would cut before eggs if I had to cut stuff. Yeah, my, okay, let's see. My list has like a higher win rate than a lot of non-egg lists. Um, yeah. I swear it's good. Yeah, eggs are, dude, eggs are like, you're better than bone collar or high cultist. Like there's a lot of cards I'm supposed to cut before I cut eggs, I guess. I don't know, I'm so it's, um. Mm. Ooh, we run this guy. I didn't realize that. That's interesting. I see you, Brian Gaines. Ooh. Man, it's crazy this list doesn't run, um... This list doesn't run, um... Do we even have, like, undeads? I guess we have the... The Deathborns, right? No silence, okay. Best tech update? No, it's I should I should probably update that to be honest, but yeah. Is Trog not an undead? No one deads. Right. Ooh, that's a good top deck. Bad. Ah. It's annoying. Oh, this didn't die. That's nice. Okay.
nice plague spreader you got there. What a shame if I got my A1 down on curve, no problem. Oh, that's very annoying. It's actually so annoying. How much damage do I have here, by the way? I have a n not enough. I don't have a good answer for this, which is really annoying. <laughs> That's a great idea, wow. Best EU streamer? I am playing on EU right now. Alright, not gonna lie, so far my deck sucks. I'm kinda getting wrecked. Um... All right, Patrick, let me take a look. Someone doted? No. I just, uh, I gotta make uh, content, you know? Oh, this looks okay. I mean, oh wait, never mind. <laughs> so, I mean, you're running big spells. Wait, does the Grand Magister even do anything? So you're running like big spell mage, but you're you're not running the A mana card, which is good, and you're running Sunwell, which is bad. Um, I think. Oh, so you can get this. So you're basically, I get the impression I haven't tested this stuff out, but you're running big spell mage with some bad meat cards for the memes. Totally viable thing to do, though. You know, you know, you don't always have to play the high tier shit. You know, this is annoying. Um. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Why are you wearing a coat? I'm wearing a hoodie, dude. Not a coat. But, uh, after I 
eat food, I'm almost always cold. So that's why. Wait, did I lose my A win bonus? Wait, this had the A win bonus? Son of a gun, chat. Well, wait, did they silence my A win? Wait, what? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, this is frustrating. I think I lose. questionable um this is a worse version okay so if it turns out to be better are you okay with getting banned if you're right i won't we're experimenting stuff this is a good one right it's a new deck like i i, I like when we're two games into a deck and people want to come to complete conclusions despite the fact that uh, other people have had success with it but this is like what's hard about me doing your the the stuff, so like because you you are what, what people want is they want to say we figured it out. We figured out the meta is solved, the, the decks are bad. Trying things out is how you come up with new ideas, right? <laughs> I just get like annoyed with the <laughs> We're, we're, we're freaking 20 minutes into playing a deck and we're like, so this is just a bad deck, right? But this stuff happens. Oh my God. It just annoys me. Maybe it is. It probably is, but it might be a meta breaker. Thoughts? What happened to my six drop? Oh, they stole it! I wasn't even paying attention, chat. Well, that sucks. Um, I think I'm gonna lose. Um, but <laughs> so I need to pay attention, all right? <laughs> just say, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just like, I don't know, Chad. I'm, uh, dude. I get frustrated when I'm playing a game, for deck for two games. I was like, is this just, this deck just bad? Like maybe. I just like I get this every day. Every day. Is there... I think this deck would be better. <laughs> Scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to go with a 7 out of the... Alien Silenced? I think it might have been transformed to a Plague Spreader. To be honest, I kind of missed the moment. I think I'm F here, by the way. I'm gonna, I just can't get the lethals fast enough. This deck has been sucking. Wait, oh, do we ever have lethal now? How much damage do I have? 
Do I have a way to like cheat mana on this deck? This is uh, I have 16 damage, right? 16 damage is not even close to lethal. All right, we're gonna go next chat. All right, we'll play a few more games of this deck, and then, and then we'll find out it's just bad, right? No ambiguity. Let's get rid of this dragons. So yeah, I'm, I, I look for, like, I go into the HS replay, and I look for new hot options. I'm not going to play Quest Priest, uh, but, okay, ooh, Secret, wait, Secret Mage King, this is zero new cards, by the way, right? That's why you can't trust Diamond through Legend. Uh, right, this is zero new cards. So, this is literally my list, right, from, uh, man, it's crazy, is my list, is this literally my list? I'm pretty sure this is literally my list that I made uh, like uh, a bunch of months ago. Wow, it's actually performing well. Um, okay, yeah, this is what I saw. 57.9% win rate. Um, uh, we're trying it out, chat. 57 per 9 is pretty good. I'm going to lie. Oh crap, chat. Oh, so bad. I didn't want to get this. I have no plays for on turn two. Which is quite unfortunate. Uh, have I seen the new podcast? I saw the the the, the summary. Like that? Uh. Son of a plague bringer chat. That's so annoying actually. It's actually so annoying. Cause like I wanna go freaking Deathborn here, but it's kinda awkward, right? Do I still do it? Do you like the new class? Um, well designed. Uh, I don't think it makes sense. The class makes sense in Hearthstone 2022. Um, I think the class made sense two years ago, which. Um, but there's no mana cheating. There's no. There's no way to swing the board. Um, uh, it just doesn't really work as a class um, in the current style of Hearthstone. Um, it's not going to compete with the onboard effects. Um, blood the triple health is is not bad. Uh, but it's still not as good as like priest um, seems like for controlling the board. Um, it doesn't have good win conditions, uh, which is kind of it. Just does it seems incongruent with what they've kind of made Hearthstone into. Um, it doesn't seem like it makes sense. If that makes sense. Um,
So it like it it just kind of like I don't know. Um like un, unholy has good late game, but it doesn't have like it has the giants, which I thought were gonna be better to be honest, but um But yeah, so probably the current style of Hearthstone. I mean, so what is a problem? A problem is we have, what is the, what is the problem? The main problem of Hearthstone is we want it to be fun. If it's fun, you're not going to have perfect solutions to things. Um, so if you say, okay, let's make Hearthstone like, like it was four years ago, and they completely nerf the power levels. This is what they tried to do the year of Rastakhan Rumble. Well, what happens when the game completely drops in popularity? Um, people stop playing because people like power creep and they like these powerful things. And then uh, and then they go and they say, you know, like, oh, we're, we're losing all our money because nobody wants to play our game. Um, do we let the game die? Uh, that is something that could happen. when, And that's because they've tried this stuff before. And that's kind of what happened, right? So it's like... It's, I don't have... So, they could nerf one thing, and then what happens? Let's say you nerf Rogue. Well, then there's Priest. Well, let's say you nerf Rogue and Priest. Well, then Demon Hunter is just going Lifesteal Demon Hunter style. If you don't have... So, let's say you nerf... Or, or you work Rogue and Priest, and then Ramp Druid is just rampant. Because it's like... So, these are all things that could easily happen. The waves of these covers Yeah, so, I mean, it's the thing of, like, there's always this feeling, if we just nerfed this, the, the game would be good. Um, and uh, sometimes nerfs help, and sometimes nerfs make the game worse. Um, you, you can live in this fantasy world that if we just lowered the power level of things, everyone would be happy. Um, so, if you don't have a, a larger design reason of why... Um, because, so one of the issues is you have some classes that are getting broken stuff and some classes that aren't. Um, but yeah, so you have Warrior, which is absolutely living in 2019 power levels, and you have Rogue that's already in 2024. So it's like, I could see the, the disparity of power levels of cards, but just this, this, this idea that like, if we just lower the power level, then everything will be good and everything will be George, just and moral. It's just not that simple. Um, and I know people, the little easy clickbaity, like this is what's wrong with the game, blah, 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 sells, but. You know, that's why, oh, Bran is a strong card. Let's like, now, Brand, the game might be better without Brand. It might be better with Brand. I don't really know, chat. But what I do know... So, it's it's a thing of... People all say, this powerful thing is not supposed to happen by this turn. So, it's a, it's a thing of, one, I do know. 
curving out really can't compete without mana cheating anymore. So unholy, uh, they do have the giants, but they can't get the dis the the giants down nearly fast enough to be competitive with decks like uh, Rogue or decks like Boon Priest. So. Um, Um, yeah, so, so if, if they just, uh, knee jerk nerf powerful things without understanding the design implications, that's when you get into big problems when the devs don't un like, I, so I hopefully, you know, and that's why you can't just blindly just be like, oh, people are complaining about this. Um, so Hmm. Yeah, that that is exactly what happened with Skull Uh the, and the expansion kind of got ruined. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's I I would rather people say, I think this this play pattern encourages uh, gameplay that I think is bad. Beyond, um, you know. Someone like Jay Alexander will say Priest is bad because 45 minute games suck. I will be Priest is good because 45 minutes suck, but that's a value judgment. And that's what the dev so versus Priest or Rogue is bad just because it's strong. I don't think that's a good enough argument. I mean, because there always is the strongest thing. So people will say just like this is too strong, but I basically think I just don't like. A lot of these arguments, I guess. So, anyways, um, what do I do here? I think I freeze their face. Uh, okay, good. No, I think I hold here because they often do the three drop here. So, This game design. Yeah, so people say that, but it's hard when, is it bad game design because you don't like it? Or is it bad game design uh, because it actually is bad game design? It does it create a, this, uh, this sense of authority, though, for sure, when you say this is just objectively. And that's what everyone's trying to say. They're trying to turn. It's hard to know what is an opinion and what is, uh, what is. So what are actual metrics? How much are people playing the game? Are people watching it on Twitch? Are people playing into the game? Are people spending money on the game? Um, these are metrics I'm sure Blizzard has, but I think those are better metrics than like, uh, but but those are very hard to do. But I'd say if, if, if Blizzard just blindly kind of listens to feedback of what players say they want without a point of view beyond that, um, I think they would long-term hurt their game um, a lot actually, so. All right, I have tons of value, so that's kind of good. <laughs> exactly fine, fuck it. So, um. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Mm, this is annoying. Mm. Mana. 
<clears throat> so yeah so it's i think uh, players can tell um the players can tell if they like the game or not right or at least they will continue to play if they like the game but it, it, it's a hard thing of do players um oh nice do players but but the hard thing is if you ha always have to there's always going to be someone who's not liking the current expansion and they always feel they have to to uh, listen to them what they might do is listen to the loud minority and hurt hurt majority of players um I mean, those are really tough decisions for you as a balance thing to make um so my my general bias and point of view is uh hearthstone will always be about efficiency primarily but when hearthstone is too much about efficiency the game gets very boring very fast um hearthstone needs to be about value judgments and uh value plays that's what so many players will find interesting um and that's kind of my point of view uh, if you make Hearthstone too much about efficiency and curving out and you don't have value of like, uh, it's not about, oh, I just efficiently killed my opponent. Um, a, a huge amount of players play for the value war. And if you don't have that element of the game, basically United Stormwind, the game will die uh, in about a year and a half. I think if we had six United Storms wins in a row, I truly believe the game would die. Um Why is it called spooky? Because of the, um, but yeah. So it, it's a thing. Oh, it's just as bad. That's very reasonable. Um, what's hard is it's hard to not have uh, a tempo meta because tempo, there always is a defining tempo deck for the most part. I'm trying to think of a situation where there wouldn't be a defining tempo deck because some deck is going to be the deck that tries to kill you. So for example, let's say uh, you forge in the Barrens. Um, you had priests that was kind of wrecking on tempo. So what happened to priests? They got very, very greedy. Why? Because they had to fight each against each other. So what what happened then? Uh, a sort of elemental shaman deck. There's sort of decks that kind of punished priests for his greed, basically. So... In theory, if you get too much value, you get greed wars, which then rewards tempo again. So it's very hard to not have a meta where tempo isn't an important factor of the game. Are they going explosive trap here, you jerk? It's actually so annoying if they do. Uh, I have to. I have to go face though, right? Like, am I really not going to go face here? I have to go face. I feel like. This is explosive. Gosh dang it. So that's why I kind of say Hearthstone will always be primarily about tempo. Um, but like I said, when you, when you, oh, this is actually such bullshit. Wow. This is actually such bullshit. I'm so effed here, actually. <laughs> Get in my belly. Come on. All right, peace. If I win this game, you will be banned. So I think in order, like, 
at the end of the day, I think if you try to to make Hearthstone a good game without the designers having a strong artistic point of view, um, if they Hearthstone will fail. Like, um, I think like artists kind of need to have something beyond just um, yeah. I have a clear here. Right? Big spell mage um, seems good at the climb. Something beyond like, oh, we did the we we listened to feedback and this like it's basically you need to have if you have basically um, you know corporate middle management running Hearthstone, the game in my opinion will die. Oh, I'm getting glaciated again. It's actually not that bad. They don't get a bomb lieutenant, right? What? How? Wait, is this good for me? This might be good for me, actually, chat. Thoughts? Do I get a good, um... So what I'm saying is, um, wait, what? Ah. If they just purely follow the money, because like, what I'm basically saying is it's not that easy to follow the money as you think. Um, if you just purely try and create a mathematical model of like, we are going to do this, um, far watch posts, uh, that actually makes a lot of sense to be honest. Watch post sound might like they might be good. You have no idea Son of a gun, chat. Divine tool is insane. It's bullshit. So yeah, I like Renthal because I like being able to play big cards. A lot of people don't like Renthal because decks that curve out pretty much can't compete. Um, uh, the man, the decks that work are more like big mana cheating decks, uh, aggro decks, as opposed to. Um Well, we're doing we we're starting the streams with a uh, non-egg priest, and then we're switching to egg priest later. But uh, it's so annoying. This blast, this divine toll has been insane. Look, they're just racking me over here. How do I win here? Top deck flurry might win actually. Yeah, top deck flurry could easily win because I I could just get there. But if I use both my flurries already, chat. Maybe I can't win here. If I use both flurries, I think I have. I need to get a freezy boy, something freezy here. This costs uh, two mana, right? You know what, actually? We play some board control here. Ah! 
Because they just use a lot of resources. I don't know. This might have been dumb. Problem is, I'm like, I can't set up a two turn because they just won't let me get the egg win down. So the aggro decks that are okay, they're not even great, is like Imp Kirsch Warlock. Um, but Imp Kirsch Warlock uh, can't, I don't think it can really compete with Rogue and Boon Priest, so it's not the most efficient. And then on top of it, um, this. <laughs> so yeah. On this list so far, uh, it doesn't feel strong enough. <laughs> so this, we probably give it uh, I don't know. Chat, okay, what do you guys think? If this deck turns out to be meh, do I make a YouTube? It, I could make it bait or broken, and then I say it's bait. That might be the play, chat. I tell everyone this deck isn't actually good, and then I'm the noble told you the deck isn't good. I gotta be... <laughs> yeah, I think I'm losing here. Band dodge. Oh yeah, I was supposed to get 10 free packs. Ooh, Trogon won. That's nice. It's very nice. Go to the store? Okay. Can I use it on all my accounts or just one? Son of a gun, chat. Trog destroyed. Feels bad, man. I'm realizing playing this didn't really make sense. I was thinking I would uh, get there, but this didn't actually... I should have played this guy and then played this next and then pinged.
keep up the impression. Oh, that's right. Feel the groove. Please, slow down. Son of a gun, chat. I'm about to lose. You when you ban yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good time to tell friends about Hearthstone? Possibly. <sighs> it's interesting. I have um, friends who, I have a friend who uh, used to love Hearthstone. And the game is um, too expensive for him now. Uh, he just doesn't play it enough to justify the money. And you know what he loves? Marvel Snap. You know? Um, you know, it makes sense. But it's, uh, Hearthstone has to worry about competing against Marvel Snap now. That if, uh, they, they can't make it appealing for players who are just casuals. Wait, oh, they actually just screwed themselves over at that play, right? They get a free ghost. That's a huge misplay, right? Level <laughs> two. All right, I just need the top deck, uh, I don't know, like Arcane Whisper, and then I still lose, right? How do I win this? This is like, that's what I mean, this deck just never wins. Thoughts? Like, how do I win with this deck ever? Like, I'm just never quite getting there. 
with the cricks. Well, what is how much? So it's interesting. Uh, if you uh, go to a, a store and it, like, uh, if someone uh, and you, it's like, <clears throat> and you like have to buy a beer at a liquor store and it's two dollars. That's really expensive. But people will pay ten dollars for a beer uh, at a bar. Um, it's part of it because like you've kind of you're paying for this feeling of drinking in the in the social experiment in the, in the social uh, exercise, but um, so people in certain contexts are willing to spend a lot of money and certain not, um, and I think if a certain thing costs a certain amount in the past, um, ten is way too much. So here's the way it works: clubs are not even a lot of times losing money. And the only reason they exist is a lot of money. So the way it works is the club says, hey, hey, what is my opponent doing? Why are they shadow stepping their Edwin? This was very bad. Can I get a flurry here and win the game? Chat, the easiest game of my life, chat. So you don't have to go to the club. Um, like you choose to, uh, and you can go to the club. They say this is the amount of money. Um, but yeah, it's like extra. Yeah. Uh, so same thing. Like you could say Hearthstone is too expensive. And then they say, okay, go do something else. And then you're like, but I want to play Hearthstone. And then they're like, all right, this is the price. Um, you have so much free entertainment. You can go play uh, online card games for free. You can play other games. Um, you can, you can, yeah. So uh, it's a reality of uh, you both as a person can say, how, this is how much I think I'm worth. Like, let's say you're offering a service. Uh, you can say, I think I'm worth $50 an hour. And people might laugh at you uh, or they might say, that's okay. And somebody might say, that's not worth it. And be like, well, not to you, then you don't buy it. Like, you know what I mean? With $3, yeah. So why, so here's the reality is, not like this, millions of people, millions are spending money buying liquor for way, for, for way over the price. That is, uh, so the liquor store, the, the, the bars know they can do that. Wow, I can't believe we're winning this game. So it's... How did we win this freaking game, chat? I don't even know. Wait, why isn't it? Hold there we go. Yeah. So... Sneaking your own drinks, dude. I know, right? That's, dude, that is actually the secret. <laughs> no, uh, I got. I, uh, four hours is worth it. Yeah. So, yeah, you have to like have your price of your own entertainment. So, um, if you're, if you're, if you're a kid, you can't afford a lot for entertainment. When you're an adult, like spending. If you find 20 bucks to, to entertain you for six hours, that might be a bargain, you know? So... And get all the cards. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things of like, so I grew up, I grew up in a really Christian uh, social circle and household. Um, we would, they would take away, my parents would not let me play certain video games. 
Uh, I knew families that wouldn't let the kids play video games at all. Um, and that's, they said, you know, th these things are addictions. Uh, we should not be able to this. Harry Potter was banned. C Halloween was also banned. We can go to that very puritanical way where people don't have self-control and people are not adults. And that is, a, I think, a reasonable way of looking at things. People cannot control themselves and people, uh, you know, need to be stopped. But what was interesting that that family I'm talking about, they their kids were about to go to college, all right? And they realized, <laughs> they realized, oh, our kids have never learned discipline. <laughs> from us because they've uh, they've like they've never been able to play video games they're going to go to college and they're not going to be able to control themselves cuz they've never had to you know i know right um so it's a thing of you know uh, it's one of those things of like yeah so if now if you're a kid i get it but like if you're an adult and you can't control yourself of like with card spending. If they could get rid of Hearthstone, well, what are you going to do? You're going to go to the casino. You know, you're going to go to this. There's, there's lots of those outlets that are socially allowed, you know? So it's, but anyways, um, what do I do here? Ooh, I think I plot down the A win here and YOLO face. I could go night cloak, but then I think this is better. Also banned, yeah. Casinos do some, yeah. I mean, casinos have regulations, so. Um, but they're still there. But casinos do some sketchy stuff. Where they, like, do some stuff that's kind of questionable, in my opinion. What are they doing here? Yeah. The whole old days argument is interesting because these days companies have advertising and hooking down to an exact science. It's now more powerful than ever, so kids these days have to have even higher discipline. Yeah, I think kids, uh, I think kids is a different story. So that's very fair. Uh, yeah, ki kids, kids is where you gets weird. Um, but... But I have also heard the other argument of, um, in some ways, advertising has gotten less effective, which is kind of another opposite side of the spectrum. So, yeah, but I'm not sure. But yeah, so once you get into kids, it gets a little, the arguments get a little bit uh, grayer. But I think for adults, like. Are we actually winning with this deck, chat? Chat, was this deck not bait after all? So... But, I mean, here's the thing, like, I grew up in that, that world of, like, like, you had to be protected from everything, you know, like, and I just, I don't know, it's like, I, I started to hate it as an adult, just like, Everything is, you know, everything's going to corrupt you. Every this, like, you know, that, that was like, I got to play GoldenEye for a while. Um, and then I got GoldenEye taken away from me because uh, it was looked at as a, a gateway to violence. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's frustrating, you know. So I don't know. It's um. So I mean, it, I I guess what's weird is like. You hit all faces all day, maybe. Yeah. Do I have lethals here ever? So I have nine. I have nine here. I go Trog, I go Double Freeze, I go Deathborn, right? And then that is, uh, well, I'm one off lethal, right? Well, that's interesting.
One off lethal, right? You go trog this the uh night cloak, night cloak into um on death on the trog into deathborn. We get two damage, right? Wait, does one of these give me which one of these gives me spell damage actually? Which one of these gives me wait, which one gives me spell damage? Wait, is it busted? Do you guys know which one it is? Do you guys know which one it is? Which one is it? Which one is it? Is the Trog? Wait, the Frostweaver, right? Oh, you're right. Is that lethal? <laughs> we'll catch up. Mistakes. Dude, it doesn't tell you which one it is. That's actually so annoying. Oh, well. <clears throat> ah, I see you brought care. Best tag ever made. Probably chicken eggs in this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, a rogue chat. I knew it was too good to be true. Easy. But they're all ice spells in this deck, so this always gets you two, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice for it, you got there, you idiot. <laughs> I'm just I'm just being a dick chat, but it's fun. This is the 40 card rogue. Where's the Fall Egg in this deck? Dude, honestly, I, the deck might need it. You're right.
What happened to the rank? We're on EU. I forgot to say that in the title, but we're on EU, so. I took my commander? Ah, that's actually such not even a good card for them, right? Um, is this a Deathborn turn? I can get a, a lot of skeletons here, right? I think it is a death. Uh, is it a Deathborn turn? I also can just freeze and go wide. Like, I think it is a Deathborn turn. Ooh, nice astral lore you got there. Mm. Ooh, denied chat. Oh, that sucks for them, not for us. It's great for us. Sucks for them though. Oh, they're shadow stepping that. They don't want to die. Can I blame them? Not really. I don't want to die either. Ooh. How much damage do I have here? Right now it's uh, 8, 11, 14. Always Deathborn? No, I didn't think Deathborn. Um, I just want to take the win here, ideally. Two Kazakhstan, it's not actually good. No taunt, feels bad, man. Imagine you're going to grow such a magnificent beard and choosing to shave it. Yeah, I guess it's back. Chat, actually, good deck. The same question as it always does. Chat, 
Chad, I'm surprised I'm five and three with this deck. Um, I thought that I still think this deck is terrible, but I'm winning, so I don't know. I'm having doubts. Can you make Enrage Warrior work? Probably not. I'm going to keep Arcane Worm as insurance. Uh, if they're aggro, not having a one drop is losing. But who made this deck? Uh, I found it on the HS replays. Mr. Operator thinks it was the prime gaming. Get on this train, this Mr. Star Operator. Well, they are aggro, chat. I was right. You want Trog here? What are you doing? You want Peasant here? Trog? Wait, what? It's <sighs> annoying. Ooh, that's a great topic, though. Are you still on the sausage diet? I still eat sausage, but uh, I'm pretty much eating whatever I want these days. Um, um, I'm exercising a ton these days. So uh, because of that, um, I'm in pretty good shape, not going to lie. I have a pretty chiseled body. <laughs> what is it they say in Always a Sunny? He's like, I have a body that's sculpted by the gods themselves. Something like that. Oh, they didn't kill my guy. Son of a gun, chat. I'm something of a Greek god myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ch Wait, I could just perpetually freeze here, right? That seems kind of good. I could wait another turn, though. That seems very good. See. I think I'd rather have another Freezy Boy on this than I'd rather have a, than Fireball. Thoughts? I think we win here. <laughs> the whole sausage, <laughs> all these eyes.
Fun game of music. Yeah, just doing something. Uh, I've been sick of uh, salsa, and I found some old playlists. So I just found some old songs I used to really love, and uh, then I'm just doing Spotify like suggestions based off those playlists. What? No, that's so bad. This taunt is so bad here. Actually, <laughs> I don't have a good answer for this. Uh, it's so annoying. Um, what do I do here? Ugh. I mean, they're out of stuff, so we're probably still winning easily, but annoying though. We have Blood Mage plus um, Deathborn. Is it possible you did it with full golden cards? Yes. Got him. Okay, chat. Actually, six and three. I thought this deck sucked, yet here we are. I don't think he's a meta breaker. I mean, here's the thing. 
gold cards are a uh, money with, with the only utility is flexing that you have gold cards, right? So really, they're you don't need them, all right? How are you moving your touch into that? So. They look better. The Oh, that was unlucky of my opponent. Uh, what? When was the last time you've seen a warrior was in a rogue in disguise? It was three years ago. This very night. <laughs> Man. Am I going to get six dropped here and lose? I mean, they can do the one mana spell and it's super good, right? Garbage tier class. Um, I don't know. In the current meta, I mean, uh, dude, I, I the class I play, even when it's trash, are uh, is priest probably, and then all of a sudden it's broken, and everyone's like, "Of course, priest is broken." All right, thank you so much for the uh, thirteen months. Get on that stuff, train. Thank you so much. Wait, Jason so Choi, does it? It doesn't say. <laughs> I can't read your <laughs> Oh, am I gonna get wrecked here? Wait, that wait, are they fishing? Do they not have it? Yeah, I think I'm gonna die here. Uh they just do this play and it's so reliable against aggro, and then they have plenty of time to make it to their combo. Like wait, unless they completely brick, yeah. See this? Like it's over. I can't win here. I can't beat all these cards. Uh, all right, we're going next. We're not playing this one out.
Nickname for non cringe stream. Yeah, well, it says Jaso Choi, and I know you've been sub for a long time. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> so I read it. But yeah. But but it does doesn't show it doesn't show up when you, um, when you when you're just giving the notification. Wait, Chad, are they going to be Boon Priests and I'm just going to get wrecked here? Different decks? Uh, yeah, this is EU. Yep. I, I strategically, when I'm trying out new decks, I go to other servers because I don't want to take my rank. But yeah. Wait, what? Let's see the zero drop. If they didn't if they didn't hit the one mana card, then we oh they have no boon here. They need two one mana cards and we might win here. Br Chad, the brick hands gamer over here? Mm, I think I'm aft, but maybe not. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I was I was gonna trade this off, but I'm realizing I really should just kill this. It's actually the better play, I think. <laughs> Dude, uh, Chad, if you if you use an ad block in the stream, I will hunt you down and report you to the government where you'll be locked away. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Ad blocking <laughs> is a crime. Uh, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are they doing? I feel like they're about to get wrecked here. Yeah, it's over. Best way to avoid prison. Be a sub. So true. 
All right, what do you got here? They have another Shadow of Devourer that they randomly generated. Mm, what do I do here? This is so annoying. Uh, I don't have a clear on this, and I'm debating if I... I think I trade everything into this. Um, and Deathborn. Uh, um, well, I, I, I don't Deathborn everything, so... Um, I'm not gonna be able to kill this, right? I have nine plus two, so and I can't lethal them. So I think I go trade. Right now, there's uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we want to go this here. Right now, there's one, two, three, four, five, right? Chad, I found out. I found out, um, my mom was using an ad block and I reported her to the proper authorities. True story. Nice. Perfect hit so far, by the way. Actually worked out so well. Chat witness. Let's go. <laughs> what? Ha! Do I ever have lethals here? It's a bit traded trade. If it went face there, I did have a lethal, right? Yeah, I'm I'm just off here though, right? Yeah. So we do this. This. Sheepy boys. Thing in the face. Let's see if they have scams here. <laughs> Life without parole. Yes, but I unironically. All right, top deck me something good for no hands, chat. That sucks. Actually, it's not. Uh... Chad, the fear. <laughs> Chad, the sheepies are make me very afraid. All right, can I get something like actually useful here? Wait, this dog, I know. Right? I know, eggs this dog. Yeah, yeah. Chad, we're starting off the stream with a usually a deck for the YouTube contents, and then we switch to the eggs later. Wait, what? Ha! 
Not the boon chat. Wait, what? Not the silence chat. Wait, what? What? <sighs> Am I about to get wrecked here? I just need to draw a spell chat. Draw me a spell and we win the game. <gasps> no! Actually scammed chat. Why can't this, this is why these suck. Why can't they just be battle cries? Death rattle? Actually scammed. Actually scammed chat. Son of a shibi, my all right. Chat, that, that goes. That's the difference between a seven four and a a great uh, YouTube video. And now this is. Uh, right, we'll get one. If we win, then we'll win, and one more. Easy YouTube content. Not this guy, son of a gun show at wait. Son of a freaking righteous protector chat. <laughs> That's
Bet. You know, so people who play cancer free, so people who pretend to be a good guy, really villain thoughts. Um, so uh, actually, so uh, priest, it's a reason like it's called priest, um, because it's one with the ways of God. Um, it's a healing class, but there are a lot of in our troubled times, even good people are straying from the, the good word of priest. So it's rough. Oh, oh, oh. Priest is also like, think about like every main character in a movie. They all use the principle of non aggression. Um, like, think about like Mr. Mizaki in, um, uh, what's it called? Um, Mizaki, yeah, yeah. And Miyagi, you know, he doesn't use his karate for aggression. He uses it for defense. That's kind of what pre that's kind of what uh, Priest does. See, it doesn't actually attack. It actually gets his opponent to concede without doing any damage to. You. Kind of like, all right, if you get a fight in real life, you can, you know, be that idiot that kills the other person because they're strong or you could be the smart person that disarms your opponent uh puts them in a submissive hold and has you concede to them concede to you be like you win mr no hands even though you, you somehow use your hands you know that's kind of what priest does but in real life so so like certain decks are kind of like the people who think all right somebody broke into my home Therefore, I should, like, maybe, maybe this is not, but like, you know, and now they're running away. <laughs> I'm going to let them down, even though they already left the premise and shoot them. Where Priest is kind of like, all right, I disarm my opponent. I lock them up and I get the, now I call the authorities and have them come in and arrest them. But uh, I actually did not even hurt them. I just disarmed them with things like Wave of Apathy and the Jacques, you know? <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> What if I keep the A with here? I'm gonna keep the A with. <laughs> Box the intruder at the base for 10 years. <laughs>
Freeze Fire. Freeze Fire. <laughs> so basically, Priest is the most moral of classes. All right. As a priest main, hey, hey, speak for yourself. You're playing Boon Priest. I play the moral uh, Naga Priest, all right? The, the, the way of the superior player that has a long, uh, interesting, tension-filled adept, unlike the Boon Priest, which is just kind of like, just vomits and then wins, all right? It's like, yeah, then you die. Like, that's what Boon Priest... See, my opponent is about to do their vomiting turn, all right? <laughs> yeah, that's true, Adobo. <laughs> Not all. Yeah, wait, wait, what? Like, um, hmm. Chat, we might get there. Thoughts? What knowledge do the stars provide? Son of a gun, chat. Wait, my opponent runs Zarella? Ha! I honestly don't know how to, what I'm I don't know what my my game plan should be here to be honest. Thoughts? Thoughts on Zarella? Wait, what? Oh, they're playing this wacky as deck chat. Thoughts? They have all their anime deads already. I mean, I could just freeze their guy and then have them self kill with the Psy friend. Except they just have void shards, right? Hmm. Mid bat. Ah. Ooh, that could have killed this. And wait. Oh, my opponent is a dirty high roller. Because all I needed to do was hit this and they were done for. Because that was a technical mistake in my opinion. Chat. My opponent always misses lethal here, right? They always look. They can't even play the void shard, right? So they're actually just going to die. <laughs> Nice play you got there. Ch Wait, what? Not a gift. They're healing them. They're healing me here. Do I have lethal here, chat? Uh, chat, witness the dead. Indeed, nice, uh, nice dead you got there. <laughs> Die! All right. I think I'm gonna call it quits on this deck. 
I want to quit while we're ahead <laughs> at 8-5.